Okay. How do you create a buzz about a book you're reading? First, you have to tell people the title and the author. So if I'm going to use our read aloud, I'm going to say, oh my gosh, I'm reading this really awesome book. It's called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and it's written and illustrated by Grace Lynn. Then you're going to tell what the book is about, but do not give away the ending. We don't want to be a spoil sport and spoil the book for anybody who wants to read it. Could you imagine how devastating it would be if I said, oh, I'm reading this awesome book. It's where the mountain meets the moon by Grace Lynn. And it's about this girl named Min Lee. And at the very end, she, <gasps> I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to spoil it. But could you imagine if I spoiled the over 100 pages that we're going to read in this book in the beginning? My goodness, no. Say what you love about the book. So in Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, I love that it's a chapter book, but I love that there's little stories in the big story because it feels like I'm reading a lot of books at once. And I also love that a lot of the chapters are short so that I don't have to struggle when I'm reading. Oh my gosh. And there are such cool pictures in this book that almost look hand-drawn. I don't know if they are, but that's what they look like. And the story, the adventures that Minley goes on is awesome. So the who is not who the characters are. It's what kind of reader would like this book? So I think Where the Mountain Meets the Moon is great for readers who like adventure and who wonder about how they could possibly change their future, but who also like reading books from other cultures and learning lessons from stories from other cultures and people who like really cool pictures. Anything else someone should know? Oh my gosh, not only is Where the Mountain Meets the Moon a great book, but it was also a Battle of the Books book and it's a Newbery Honor book. So it's like one of the best books you could possibly read. Your screen looks like this so that you have all the choices and you can remember what goes in it. But we felt like this was a lot of information to stick in tiny spaces. So each slide is one of these yellow boxes. So say the title and the author. So slide two, you're gonna write the title and the author, or you can take a picture of your book cover. The next one is tell what this book is about, but don't give away the ending. So this one, you can type it or you can record your voice so we, or you could record a video of yourself giving the book talk so we can see that awesome energy you have. Say what you love about the book and notice that love is in all capital letters. You need to love the parts of the book you're sharing about. Now, there might be some parts of your book you're like, mm, wasn't my favorite part of the book, but I loved this other part. Don't share that mm, it was okay. Share the woohoo. And who, who is what kind of reader would like this book? Tell me what kind of reader you think would like this book. Is it a book about video games, which I know some of you are reading. So what, I probably am not the right reader for those books. I don't play those games. Is it a mystery? So would mystery lovers want to read your book? Is it just a fiction book, just a nice book with a nice story so everyday readers would like it. You decide what kind of reader would like your book. And is there anything else we should know about your book? So in my example, I, in my something else, I said it's a Newbery Award winner book and it was a Battle of the Books book. 
So you're giving just a little bit more information about your book on this page. 